Hey, what's up, YouTube? Little Bucket coming at you from Metro Detroit, finally at home. As you can hopefully tell, I've gotten some new equipment. We have this lovely green screen behind me. We have some better lighting. And if you can tell by the audio, I also got a microphone. Woohoo! Higher quality. Anyway. So today I'm going to be talking about my top five pet peeves as a flight attendant. So f for those of you who travel a lot, don't do these things to your flight attendant. It's not fun, and it sucks, and it's annoying. Don't be annoying. So I'm going to start with my least annoying thing out of the top five that I picked to my most annoying thing. So number five is asking us questions about said airport in the airport. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but do you know how many airports we go to? We go to a lot of airports. I'm only based in the Detroit airport, so I know like a decent amount about the Detroit airport. First of all, because it's not that big. Second of all, because I'm based there. But if I'm in Houston, Texas, and somebody comes up to me and is like, hmm, where can I find the bus station here? I don't know. I'm not from Texas. I know about the planes. Our training's about the planes. You can ask me a question, where's the bathroom on the plane? Where's the door to leave the plane? I don't know where the bus station in Houston is. Ask a gate agent or a TSA or somebody that's not a flight attendant. Literally anybody else would m have a more likely chance of knowing the answer to that than a flight attendant. Don't ask us where things are in airports. Don't do it. Alright, so number four is complaining to us about our airline. Super fun times. First of all, what do you want us to do about it? We don't run the company. If you have a problem with something that our airline does, go to the company website. Click on the button to write a comment. Write your comment. And if you don't want to go to the website, you could do it on Twitter, you could do it on their Facebook. Anything is more impactful than complaining about it to your flight attendant. I don't know how many times people will tell me, I'm never flying your airline again. I don't care, and neither do any of the other flight attendants. If you're just going to sit there and complain to us about our airline, good. Bye bye See you next week, because you're going to come back because we're super cheap. But for real, don't complain to us about our airline. What are we going to do about it? Nothing. Talk to corporate. Jeez. Number four, being told to smile. First of all, that's sexist as heck. And I'm here as a flight attendant for your safety. That's my main priority. And if I'm telling you about a safety thing because you're breaking a safety rule, I'm probably not going to be smiling because I'm annoyed or I'm worried about your safety or a little bit of both. So. Telling me to smile is not only rude, but just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't tell people to smile. First of all, you should never tell people to smile because it's just rude and annoying. And especially don't tell your flight attendants to smile because we're just doing our job. Yeah, there's times to smile, but we're not always going to be creepy. And deal like this. What would you like to drink, sir? Do you want a snack? Number two, not listening to our directions. It's a federal aviation regulation that you have to listen to all crew members' directions. Now, that's to an extent, obviously, if a flight attendant tells you to do something sketchy, don't do it. They're just bad people. But, in general, 
everything that flight attendants tell you to do is for your safety. When we tell you to put all your bags underneath the seat in front of you, that's for safety so you don't so no, you or the passengers by you don't trip on your stuff on the way out. Your seatbelt's there so you don't hit your head on the ceiling in case of turbulence. So like all that simple stuff, like just listen to us the first time we tell you. It's so annoying going through the plane trying to tell people to put all their bags underneath the seat in front of them and I have to do it, tell some people three times. Please put your bag underneath the seat in front of you. So yeah, the third time I come around, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be as happy about it because why did I have to tell you three times to put your bag underneath the seat in front of you for landing or for takeoff, whichever it is. Like, put your bag underneath the seat in front of you for landing and takeoff. Don't wait till the flight attendant tells you three times. Yeah. Or put your seatbelt on. I had a lady curse me out because I asked her to put her seatbelt on for landing. For her safety. She starts yelling at me. F this, F that, I'm not F and listen to any directions from you. Like, okay, it's your safety lady. Like, whatever, I'm just trying to look out for you. So please, just listen to the flight attendant's direction. They're just doing it for your safety. They're just looking out for you. They know what they're talking about. You don't have to leave your seatbelt on that long. Just put it on. Same with your purse or your bag underneath the seat in front of you. Like, 15 minutes at the most. You're going to be okay with your stuff down there for that long. Don't worry, you'll make it through, I promise. And my number one pet peeve, it ties into number two, but this needs its own specific section, is regarding the seatbelt sign. So let me explain this to all of you so that when you fly in a plane, you know what to do. We, as flight attendants, have to let you know that the seatbelt sign is on. We cannot give you permission to go to the bathroom to get something out of your bag. All we are allowed to tell you is the seatbelt sign is on. For your safety, we ask that you remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened, or a shorter version of that, or some variation of that. So when you get up to do something, like go to the bathroom, because it happens the most with going to the bathroom, and the flight attendant tells you, Hi, I just have to let you know that the seatbelt sign's on. Do not be this passenger. Um, well, can I just go to the bathroom? All I'm allowed to tell you is that the seatbelt sign's on and we ask that you remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened. So, can I just go use the bathroom? I just really have to go to the bathroom. I just want to know if I can use the bathroom. Ma'am. Literally, all I'm allowed to tell you is that the seatbelt sign's on. I cannot give you permission to go to the bathroom. All I can tell you is that the seatbelt sign's on. So, I can't go to the bathroom? Legally. That's all I can tell you. The seatbelt sign's on. Can't give you permission. All I'm allowed to tell you is that the seatbelt sign's on. Can't physically stop you either. I just have to tell you the seatbelt signs on. Don't be that person. When you get up and a flight attendant tells you that the seatbelt signs on, either let's take their suggestion that the seatbelt signs on and it's safe for you to for you to be seated, or ignore them or just say, okay, thanks for telling me, and go to the bathroom. Don't sit there and ask them ten times, but can I go to the bathroom? All they're allowed to tell you is that the seatbelt sign is on. Jeez, don't sit there and have a 10 minute discussion with them about whether or not you can go to the bathroom. They can't give you permission. They're just telling you the seatbelt sign's on. You're an adult, make your decisions. Either listen to them because they're telling you it's not safe or just you don't care about your safety and go to the bathroom. That's that. So yeah, those are my top five pet peeves as a flight attendant. So when you go and you fly, don't do those things. Because it's not going to make anybody happy. It's not going to make you happy, because then the flight attendants aren't going to be happy. Nobody's going to be happy. We're just going to be all annoyed and grumpy and err. So don't do it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Share to your friends. I just wanted to let you guys know that in the near future, there's going to be a video coming out, the first video of a series I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell you guys what it's about because it's a surprise, but I've been working pretty hard on it. So that will be in the near future. 
I don't know when exactly the near future is, but I'd say two weeks at the most. We're aiming for sooner than that, but it takes a lot of work when you care about something a lot. So it's an important video, so be on the lookout up in the near future. If you want to keep up to date, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah! I really need to think of something to say at the end of my videos so I don't just awkwardly sign off. But I don't know anything yet, so until then, awkwardly signing off. Yeah. Okay, that overdid it. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be talking about my top five pet peeves about being a flight attendant. No. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. Random, whatever. And...